Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here and welcome to the video. Smack that like button and let's get started. So there's not too many interesting things or updates going on in the PUBG community as of late other than um, they... If you go to the PUBG website and go to the news page, you'll see that they are showing stats and banned cheaters and they're also announcing a new DMR and basically they just said they're going to continue to monitor the gun balance and make nerfs and buffs and changes as necessary, which is something they've always done. So not too many exciting new things going on in PUBG. We do have that new game mode, Blue Bomb Rush, uh, which I already made a video about. So today I was thinking I want to upload something, have some PUBG playing in the background, but kind of tell an unrelated story. But it does kind of relate to video gaming and dating. So ever since I started uh, dating again recently, I was reminded of a time that I got catfished a very, very long time ago. Well, about 10 years ago. Uh, before a lot of you guys that watch my YouTube channel now even knew that I had a YouTube channel. This is back before I live streamed uh, when I would play Call of Duty and make videos about it. All those videos are super old and are... I think they've been deleted because when my YouTube channel got monetized, a lot of it had like copyright songs and stuff that I used for Call of Duty montages. So I just deleted all those videos to avoid any monetization problems on my channel. But some of them were pretty funny. But let's go ahead and uh, get on with the story. So I used to play Call of Duty every day and play it a lot over the weekend. I had a friend group that we played with and we would squad up almost every week and it was the same guys and uh, we always had fun well we our group obviously we, we all met online all of us were online friends and one day we met a girl that started playing with us on a regular basis and I'm not gonna put any names or gamer tags out there because some of these people might still watch my channel and I don't, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus or, or start any unnecessary drama about something that happened so long ago but basically this girl started playing with us and we never heard her talk like ever and when we asked her why why she only preferred uh like text or xbox chat instead of talking she said i can hear you guys but i'm mute i i can't talk so i have my headset on and you might hear me like breathing occasionally or things in the background but I can't actually use my voice and we were all very accepting maybe even naive people back then in fact catfishing is very normal now I mean not normal but it's very widely known I mean there's a show that was on MTV called catfish but this was like 10 11 years ago before everybody was so up to date on catfishing i mean it was a thing but it, it wasn't a huge thing you know so we didn't even think oh maybe this person's not telling the truth you know i mean she gave us her facebook and we saw pictures of her and she was a cute she was a cute girl you know so what happened is me and her started talking outside of playing video games and flirting and stuff like that and she would give me just enough to like lead me on and let me think that there was something there possibly you know but nothing ever really happened i mean we went back and forth i wouldn't even say we were dating we were just kind of like we were kind of like very flirty with each other but me i thought it was leading up to something you know being that younger naive person i was like wow i finally met a girl that i like and she's cute and she plays video games and she's always online I know that she can't talk and she had a she, I'm not going to give out personal information about the story but she had a very believable story about how she lost her voice you know so and none of my friends ever doubted it either which which backed it up even more we never had a conversation where we was like hmm do you think so and so is really who they say they are do you think this person is someone different are you sure we're talking to this no we just we just believed you know like i said we were we were young naive playing call of duty all day and everybody knows call of duty rots your brain no i'm kidding 
Um, but anyway, this went on for, I don't know if I, my timetable is probably off because it happened so long ago, but I would say about six months, I felt like there was something between me and this girl, but I also kind of felt like it wasn't going anywhere. Um, so like we would send pictures back and forth and flirty stuff. And I kind of felt like her pictures didn't match up to her personality, right? Because she seemed like this classic loner gamer chick, right? But all her pictures were of her with friends by the pool, like wearing bikinis. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I was just thinking, you know how when you meet somebody and you see a picture of them, you're like, wow, I pictured this person totally different. None of her pictures had anything to do with gaming. They were just pictures of a cute girl hanging out with her friends. And that was pretty much it. So I was, I started to think to myself later on, I was like, this is just strange. Like her pictures don't match her personality. And that was the first time I wondered, is this someone else? Well, after a while, um, it, it stayed, it just stayed flirty. So I kind of just backed off the whole situation. I, I kind of got the feeling that this person was leading me on and might not be who they said they were. This isn't some crazy catfish story where I like fly to another country and I'm like deceived. No, this is just an innocent story of me being flirty with someone online for, you know, a few months, six months or whatever, and then kind of backing off because I realized something just wasn't exactly right. Now, I didn't I didn't take that person out of my life. I continued talking to her, but I just stopped all the flirty stuff because I was too <laughs> I was too worried that I was not talking to the right person. Uh, so we continued to game, but then all of a sudden she she said she was dating someone online. She said she had an online boyfriend and this guy would occasionally play with us. And I asked him when she wasn't around, I was like, have you ever met her in person? He's like, no, no. In fact, I'm not even sure she is who she says she is. And I was like, okay, me too. This guy went like super detective sleuth mode and he went all over the internet until he figured out that her pictures were just pictures that she was stealing from someone else. And nowadays, that's pretty common. I mean, most catfish stories you hear are people that just steal Facebook or Instagram pictures from someone's profile and use them as her as their own. But back then, uh, the Google reverse image search wasn't as good as it is now. So you actually had to do a little detective work to try and figure out whose pictures you were looking at. So one day he got in an online chat with me. He's like, I have to tell you something. I was like, what? He's like, I figured out that who she is. And he's like, well, I don't mean who she is, who she's not. So he sent me the Facebook page of the girl whose pictures we thought were this catfish girl. And it was exactly what I thought. Somebody totally different, you know? So in, in conclusion, I approached her with this information online and said, hey, I know your pictures aren't really you. I suspected it for a long time. And it doesn't mean we can't be friends anymore, but our entire friendship is basically based on a lie. You led me on for a while by flirting with me and not stopping me from flirting with you because I know you liked it, you know, but you liked the whole flirty situation, but you knew that we would never meet in person in the first place because you showing me fake pictures. So I said, if you want to continue being friends, I mean, you can't send me any more pictures and say, this is who I am. You have to do a video chat with me so I know who I'm talking to. And after over a year of friendship, a half a year of that being pretty flirty, uh, this person said, I'm not willing to do that. I would rather end the friendship than ever show you a picture of who I am. That's not the exact wording they use, but that's what they said. They said, I'm not going to do that. Not even to save our friendship. I won't video chat you. So to this day, I still don't know whether I was talking, who I was talking to. I have no idea. I have no idea if it was a girl, if it was a guy. Remember, they didn't, they never actually talked. We just, it was all through text. They were always, they said they were mute, that they didn't have a voice. So to this day, I have no idea who that person actually is and I don't think about it anymore but every now and then uh, now that I've started dating again I think back on that story and I'm like wow that was a 
that was kind of crazy. Not the craziest catfish story in the world, but hey, that's what happened to me. And now I'm much more cautious when I meet people online. I don't demand to video chat with them or immediately like see pictures of them like doing a certain thing so I know it's them, you know, but I'm just very cautious when I meet people online now. And I always remember that when you meet someone online, they're not necessarily who they say they are or the person in the pictures that they're sending. Now, I think most people are pretty normal, but there are some people out there who live a completely on the internet life and they never plan to meet in person, so they can just make up a story and be whoever they want you to think they are. And that's the kind of people you gotta watch out for. So that's my catfish story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you guys on the next video and have an awesome day.